friends so today we're going to discuss this question from biweekly contest 18 problem number 1328 break a palindrome so in this you are given a palindromic string as an input and you have to replace exactly one character by a lower english letter mm -hmm. alphabet so that the string which is formed should be lexicographically smallest possible and that shouldn't be a palindrome itself as you can see from this example this is a palindromic input if i convert this b to a then this is the least lexicographically possible string and it is not also a palindrome and if it is not possible to convert then we have to return an empty string as you can see in this uh, because if we convert it in any other like if we have to at least have to exactly convert one character this is one character if i convert it like to any other character like b c then it also again remains a palindrome and it doesn't satisfy this condition so we have to return an empty string so what we can do is as we can see in any palindrome which is of even size if we change any character it will become non palindromic as we know because it is a mirror image of itself and uh, in a odd number of palindrome odd number of palindrome if we have to change uh, if we can change an alphabet uh, before the index of its middle then it also will not become a palindrome after the change so let me tell you with this example so as you can see this is a palindrome if i change a to b though it will not be a palindrome but it will not be the least lexicographically smallest okay so what we do is to be least lexicographically smallest just example just say like we have to be we have we have we should have a's max to max possible from here from the starting because as you can imagine it with numbers uh, take example with number if you have 1 4 5 and uh, if you make if one cannot go beyond because it will become zero but if you want to make it a three digit number but smallest what we can do it we make we should make it one also five and if zero is not allowed in this case so we should also make it one so what we do is we traverse from left to right and if we see any of the alphabet which is greater than a we should convert it back to a so it is very much Uh, so if we convert it back to it it will will not be a palindrome anymore and it will be lexicographically smallest so in this case we just convert it back to a and it will it will be a case for this case if the string length is less than 2 then it is not possible at all okay in this case because this is this this is this if we move it here from here to here then as we can see we draw a middle line so we check with this and this it is a palindromic string but we cannot change both of this alphabet to anything more for the small so in this case what we'll do is we'll move from now from back from right to left and if any alphabet we encounter is smaller than z we'll make it z so take this example only if we have this number so if we cannot change this then we have to change this now at the last number so we can change this to 1 but if we change it it will also become palindromic so we can change it to anything like 9 we just put it 9 because uh, it will be a simple logic then so let's get it more clear with the code if the size is like less than or equal to 1 then the answer should be a null string empty string sorry uh, then we first move from 0 to less than n by 2 and if we encountered anything greater than a then we make that position of s equal to a and then return the string if anything is not satisfied in this loop then we move from back to the front and anything we encountered 
like smaller than z we increment it increment that number because that will be the lexicographically next lex smallest one so then we return that string and after that we just return the empty string if none of these conditions are true and uh, in this code turns even yeah So I hope you understand the logic. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.